<sighs> oh no, where's my coffee? I literally went into my bedroom and sniffed out the coffee. It's colder than a witch's tit in here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another daily video. It's Friday again. And I have an announcement to make. I'm going to take a break from doing these daily videos. I will be traveling next week. And I just don't know how I'm going to be able to keep up with it. But that's fine. This was all one big fun project um, to work on. And now there's a plethora of videos to go back to. Um, if you come across the channel and you're watching this video, I'd just say go and look at maybe what um, titles pop out to you for a little bit of inspiration there, if not by the day. Um, I am planning on putting out some extra content that's not tarot reading related, or rather that are not readings. I'm going to do some spreads. I also recorded a video about Reiki uh, that I hope I can put out before I leave, but we'll see. Okay, that's my announcement for today. So let's just get into a reading for this morning, Friday, February 18th. Hope you guys are looking forward to the weekend. We got sunshine here in Chicago. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Desert passage. Trust there is a divine plan. Wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Hmm. Yeah, you know, this is for, this is about understanding that you have to walk your own path. Trust there is a divine plan. You are tapped into what feels abundant. You are drawing from a source of infinite abundance. Now that can look different for everybody, what that is, what feels abundant, right? Um... And not everyone's going to understand. That's why it's Desert Passage Wise Leader. Trust there's a divine plan and you are a beacon for others. This is, this is um, the Wise Leader card. That's like a trailblazing card. It's like doing something you've never done before as well. Hmm. What are you going to get up to this weekend? Whatever it is, it's great. There might be some trials, but um, if anything, it's because you've never done it before and you're, you're finding the way. The chariot. There it is. Going for it. What is it? That's also a seven card. So seven is, um, well, that's cancer astrologically, but that's also um, t being tapped into... Seven, if you look at the card, the art of the card, how his crown is like open to the cosmic pool above. It's the opening of the crown chakra there. So seven being a card of spiritual, spirituality, spiritual guidance, spiritual success. All right, what else we got? Queen of Swords. Three of Wands. Judgment. Three of Wands is in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. Page of Pentacles. The Magician. Queen of Wands. The Hermit. And the King of Swords in the reverse. Oh, look at that. We started on the Queen of Swords, ended on the King of Swords in reverse. You are doing something you've never done before, and you're not going to know how to... Like you're smart enough to know the next step, but you can't fathom or intellectualize what the final outcome will be. Two of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands. <clears throat> this tells me like people very close to you may not even understand, um, but you are guided by your intuition around this matter, whatever it is. 
Three of Wands in Reverse, Page of Pentacles, and the Hermit. This might be something, not even like a project or external matter, but maybe an internal matter, right? Because the Hermit is showing us an inner journey. Or at least he's, he's walking with a lantern that's guiding just our path. And in fact, very little else. So the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles together is very nice because the Page of Pentacles, this is also a brand new opportunity. It's an offer. It's, it's not huge. It actually appears very small, but it's very deep. It's very deep. So on the outside, it may look like... Huh. Yeah, three of Wands in reverse. I mean, normally that's growth. So like we can take that as like stagnation or just like really not knowing where to go. This definitely gives makes sense with the Desert Passage card of, of like, we're in the desert. It doesn't look like much. But the journey is incredibly significant somehow or profound. So where are you going? Where are you going? That's interesting. Wise leader. We have judgment, the magician in reverse, and the king of swords in reverse. Hmm. You know, judgment is the crossroads. It is like being called to do something. It is about self-awareness and understanding your power and what you're here to do. The magician in, in reverse and the king of swords in reverse, I'll just say like, you may truly, honestly get the sense that something isn't working, but it is. I, th I it is because this the the oracle spread is sort of moving towards like um, an increase in significance somehow, right? And we have that all the way up until the end. Which to me, I don't think that it means it takes a turn for the worse. Just that you may f you as the person experiencing this, whatever it is, may understand this as I'm not. I don't feel powerful yet if anything you feel you might feel more just like i am um following my intuition i'm following what seems also logical to me like it this just makes sense for me it might not make sense for other people but but it's just a very calm like and it's not a big deal it's just this is where i'm gonna go this is what I'm going to do. This is what this is where I'm going to explore. Let's clarify these final two cards and maybe the chariot. First of all, let's get the chariot clarification. Seven of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, the Devil. Whoa. <laughs> the Devil's in reverse though. Oh, yo yo. So the chariot, which is the energy underneath, is clarified by the Seven of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the Devil underneath. Um, there's been something you've been dreaming about, fantasizing about even, that is finally going to happen. And it's going to free you from whatever state you've been in up until this point. That's basically what I'm getting with these cards. Now, their Seven of Cups is also confusion. So that also just validates um, some earlier messages around... You don't, you may not totally understand or know what's going on, or there's like a discrepancy between what is actually happening around you, for you, versus your experience of what is happening, your embodied experience. Um, the Wheel of Fortune as well is a card, uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a karmic card, but it's just like, you know, the wheel goes up and the wheel comes down. And seeing this card along with judgment on the table is a reminder to really center yourself, really ground yourself. And I think that's why the Page of Pentacles is here in the middle. The Page of Pentacles is also the student. He wants to understand why things are working the way that they are, because he's not going to make the same mistake again, right? Pages never make the same mistake twice. This is a renewal. Some cycle has ended and now you're sort of like approaching this differently. Maybe you're taking your time. Uh, maybe you're really analyzing. Um, you're you're preferring the the route of analysis and understanding over external progress. That's what it is. 
So this, the, the message of the Wheel of Fortune that I really like as well is to get into the center of the wheel versus on, on the outside of the wheel when, we, when, when it turns, right? When, when we perceive change and we're on the outside of the wheel, it feels like a roller coaster. It's kind of scary. But if we're in the center, we can, we can eat more easily perceive the changes that are happening. So that, to me, goes along with Judgment card and this whole last row of like the magician in reverse. We need to come to understand what were the tools that we're using and how we're manifesting things and understanding our own power in that versus things are just happening to us. And on that note, let's clarify the magician. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse, the Lovers in reverse. Okay, well, the Magician is appearing in reverse because all of this stuff needs to, is, is possibly symptoms of the situation. Um, you feel like maybe you're, you've missed your chance, right? Ace of Pentacles is like, a brand new opportunity. It's the large opportunity. It's almost like you've, you couldn't have the big thing that you wanted or something. So you chose this little thing and you're focusing now just on like what feels again, smaller, but significant, profound somehow. And you, you had to turn away from this other opportunity in order to let go or shed some responsibility and deal with the situation that was that felt unbalanced okay ten of wands is the card of like um lack of priorities or something the lovers in reverse is um uh, a disharmonious sort of energy and the ace of pentacles you know probably something that we really wanted or do want but is not available to us until we deal with these other things. So this again has to do with maybe some self-awareness of like this, this can grow possibly once we release some things and, and um, balance some things out for ourselves. That's why the magician is in reverse. What about the king of swords? And then we'll leave it there. Okay. And, um, <clears throat> I'll do the weekend videos and I'll do some videos next week as well, but um, I'm gonna call it Wednesday, I'm done. And then um, I'll just reimagine sort of what, what the channel's gonna look like and what, what to do from there. If you have any feedback for me, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to get your guys' thoughts on what's been going on. I feel like I've definitely learned a ton, a ton. And it's a lot easier for me to talk, you know, talk through the cards and what I'm feeling and seeing. Okay, King of Swords here. Page of Swords in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse. Six of Pentacles. Boy. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles, clarifying the King of Swords in reverse. So this is the energy, this is sort of like double energy of receiving some information we did not want to receive. And I feel like there's a call here to be more open or generous around that situation. Like what is it, what kind of information are you dealing with right now that feels like it's been, um, I don't want to say holding you back, but sort of closing you off from the Six of Pentacles energy, which is reciprocity and balance there. So I feel like once you know how to um, stabilize yourself, regardless of what's going on externally, right? Because this is external messages coming in. You know, there's a little bit of like immature energy here, honestly, too. And there's, there's a lot of sword energy here. Um, the Queen of Swords, to me, the one, the person we started with, is, for me, this card of setting boundaries, because she's like the business lady. She's like, 
She knows how to make all the smart business moves. She knows what's important. But she's also compassionate and she will, she will lead tenderly. The King of Swords in reverse is the opposite of that. So it's almost like we fell into a, we're, 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 as we're growing and pursuing our own means, we've fallen into a, a, potent, a situation where potentially we lost this kind of compassion and reciprocity around what? I don't know. Let's get one more. The moon. Well, it's Pisces season officially, so that's interesting. But, you know, um, there's obviously some fears at play here. The moon is about our fears are subconscious. It's like things welling up to the surface that now need to be dealt with. So because I saw the Wheel of Fortune card here, this feels just like another trial. If we're going back to the metaphor of you are <laughs> in this desert passage, possibly I'm getting the image of bushwhacking your way through, you know, some new territory. This is just like another one of those those trials to get through. Um, but you don't, even though you may not realize your own power or ability to get through it, I think that you will, because there's no other way. There, you're blazing that trail. That's what I have. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.